In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build a website chatbot with Lama. So you can create a fully customizable chatbot all on your own. Now, we're going to divide this video into three sections. First, we will build a web chatbot in Lamba, starting off with a template. Once built, we'll see how it can be deployed on the web with a link or embedded to your website. And finally, how to optimize the initial build by analyzing its data. So let's get into it. Starting with building a web chatbot. Once you've logged in into Lamba, you will find yourself in the home section. Click on create a web chatbot. I'll go with a template, this lead generation template, for example. Now, once selected, we land on the builder. Here, you'll be able to edit the chatbot conversation at your liking. The arrows indicate the direction the conversation will follow. You can edit and add new blocks. Keep in mind that the canvas is infinite. You're also able to add images, videos, GIFs, and links to enhance the user experience. Plus, integrate external services such as CRM systems, email marketing tools, etc. Keep in mind you can always test your chatbot up here. Now, after a while in the builder, once you feel like the chatbot is ready and you've tested the conversation, it's time to publish and share your chatbot. This link will give you direct access to the full page bot. You can share this link on social media posts, email campaigns, in hyperlinks, even create a QR code from it. On the other hand, if you intend to have it embedded on your website, go into the share section. Your chatbot can be embedded in your website as a live chat, full page bot, embed, or pop-up. You'll have to copy this code snippet and paste it on your website. For how to do that on different website builders, follow the links below for a guided step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, once shared or deployed on your website, things don't just end there. It's very important after some user interactions to analyze the chatbot data with analytics. For example, what are the most popular paths or where do we find the highest drop-off rates? This way, we find areas of improvement to the initial build. So, to find your chatbot analytics, go into the Analyze section in the chatbot. Here you will find the chatbot general metrics like the amount of chats finished, in the Users tab, you'll find all the information from the users that interacted with the chatbot and Flow Analytics in order to easily look for parts on the flow that users tend to drop off and leave. Keep in mind that you can also find all the data and metrics from all your chatbots in your account available in the Metrics section here. By following these steps, you can easily create, deploy, and optimize a web chatbot easily with Lambda. Remember that the key to a successful chatbot lies in its conversational design, user friendliness, and responsiveness to user needs. Regularly monitor its performance, gather feedback, and make necessary adjustments to provide a seamless and valuable experience to your website visitors. So that's it. Hope this video helped you get started with website chatbots. I'm Nick from Lambot, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.